Hi everybody, welcome again to the RCTO Hobby video channel. We're here today with the 17 inch RC Pirate Ship R. All right, so it looks cool, it's lots of fun. It's got uh, kind of nice looking details. You got some of the cannons on the side, little rigging, like your little pirate people could uh, go climbing up there. You got a movable cannon at the front. It only moves by hand, it does not fire. Uh, some earlier versions of this uh, boat had uh, a fireable cannon, but this one does not. Okay. But you've got your Jolly Roger on the sails here, you've got Jolly Roger on the back. So you've got lots of good, cool details here. It comes completely ready to run, so that means you not only get the ship as you see it, along with the transmitter, but you get a charger and a rechargeable battery for the boat. Uh, right now that's already installed in the boat, so you can't see it. The transmitter runs on a 9 volt battery, and that's also included. So everything that you need to run the boat actually is in the box. Uh, the boat's a lot of fun. It uh, doesn't come with too much in the way of instructions for it. It's one of these things, sometimes a, a, a few instructions can help people out. So that's why we've kind of put this video together. Uh, some questions do come up from our customers. Uh, first of all, the, when you get the boat, as with uh, any other item like this that you would buy, be sure to get all of the parts out of the packaging. So with the transmitter, you need both the transmitter itself and the antenna. The antenna is not already screwed into the uh, body of the transmitter. It's really separate in the box, but near the transmitter. So be sure to get both of those out. Get the 9 volt battery out. Get the charger, the boat battery out. Of course, you have the boat itself. It's both uh, tied in, and then there's, it's screwed into the styrofoam. So you need to unscrew that out. And there's another small piece. Sometimes people are a little puzzled about it at first, and that's this, uh, that's this little piece. And this is actually part of a stand for the boat. So along with the keel, uh, this little piece just makes a little T-stand for it. Okay, so other practical tips with it. Okay, number one, is there anything that you might need that doesn't come in the box? Well, you do need a small screwdriver to open the battery compartment in the transmitter. So you need a number one size uh, Phillips head screwdriver is what you need. You can get this part of a set. This is a simple set that's made by Allied Precision. You can find it in uh, drug stores or grocery stores. Certainly hobby shops would have little screwdrivers if you don't happen to have one this size already. And the battery itself, also remember that uh, it's a 9 volt battery, it does have a very thin plastic covering over the terminals, so it's kind of easy to not see it, but of course you need to have to, you have to remove the plastic covering off the terminals to use the battery. So, uh, to, that if you're having trouble getting the transmitter to turn on, it's probably not a dead battery, it's more likely that the terminals are covered with the plastic, so take that off and then check that first. Okay? And then the transmitter itself, uh, actually, it's very easy to operate. You simply turn it on, okay? You get a light, this means it's on, okay? Usually, you would need to extend this out a few feet, but we're just in close quarters here, so we won't bother with that. Other thing, of course, is that you need to be able to turn the ship on. Uh, how do you turn the ship on? There's a, the on-off switch for the boat itself. It's actually here. The button is just a simple one-press button. It does not stay pressed down when you turn it on. So what you do is like right now everything's off. So if I turn the radio on, there's no response from the throttle. But now let's go ahead and press this button once. Okay. Now we turn the radio on. Now we have a response. Let's push the button again. Turn it off. Again, no response. So the button, it, again, it doesn't stay pressed down. You just push it once to turn it on, and then when you're done, push it off again. Okay? Then for the, uh, what else do we need? Well, obviously you have to get the battery into the boat, which we've already done. In this case, the battery chamber is actually in the bottom of the hull. And there are four screws that you use to affix it. Uh, this is also, there's a gasket that's inside to help keep this watertight. Uh, some people get a little bit nervous about this being below the water line. Uh, this, uh, it, the system does actually work. Uh, some people still get a little bit nervous about it and say, well, is there anything else that we can do with this to, just to make sure that it doesn't leak? Uh, the answer, of course, is yes. And what you can do is you can use hatch tape. Okay. So, for example, uh, this is just a hatch tape. It's from Atomic. It's clear, it's pliable, and as the name sounds, it's actually made for securing 
RC boat hatches. So it's clear it goes on. It does not leave a sticky residue and it's absolutely watertight for your hatch. So you can put that all the way around, including covering the screw holes. The screws are recessed in here. So it's an extra measure of security. You can do that. That's fine. Okay, there's no problem with it. Then what else we do? Oh yes. Uh, we mentioned that the stand has a little uh, has like a little little rod on top that fits into a hole in the hull. There's a hole in the hull, and there's actually several holes in the hull. And these are functional. That the boat actually uses a little bit of water for ballast. So in front of to to the bow side of this hatch, there are several holes down in the keel. These actually do allow a little bit of water into the boat hull. So this is not when this happens. This is not sinking. This is the controlled entry of water. Big difference. So what will happen when you initially set the boat and ship into the water, it'll settle. So what you need to do, just let the ballast take hold, let the ship set in the water for you know about 30 seconds or so to be sure it's stabilized, then go ahead and steer it forward and back, reverse, whatever you want to do. Okay? So of course when you're done, then what you do when you pull it out, the water that came in will drain out of those holes. So just hold it over the water, let that drain out, and then put it aside. So let's go over that again quickly. What do you need to do to get started running the boat? Well, number one, you need to charge the boat battery. It's a 1000 mAh battery. You need to use the wall charger that comes with it. Charge this for four to five hours. Then get the battery inside the hatch. If you want to use hatch tape too, they did, that's good. So go ahead and get your hatch tape, get that on. Okay, then that's done. Once that's done, you need to make sure that you have a working nine volt battery in the transmitter. So be sure the transmitter power is on, then you can turn the boat on, power that on, okay, so you're ready, ready to go. Get the boat into the water, let the ballast take hold, okay, then you're ready to drive. It goes forward and reverse, left and right. Uh, for the left-right function, you do have to have the throttle on before the left-right function works, okay. So then you're good to go, and then when you're done, just take the boat out of the water, let the water drain out of the holes, okay? Power it off, power the radio off, let everything dry, then you're good to go for next time. So, hope you enjoyed our video and uh, enjoy your RC pirate ship. We'll see you out on the water.